why should someone advertise on Amazon? So you've got your product, you're selling on Amazon, but why is it important to sell on Amazon? So the bottom line of trying of any business is to increase your top line sales. So advertising helps you increase your sales. It increases your visibility of the product and improves the reach that your product has on Amazon. So um, typically there are a couple of things that we need to understand with respect to the kind of ads that are there on Amazon. So we try to reach out to different audience types and depending on the different, there are different stages of audience uh, who, who, who log into Amazon and who search for products on Amazon. So we kind of bucket them under the awareness, interest, consideration, evaluation and the purchase stage. So these are different stages depending on how interested they are and in what stage of buying a customer is on. So depending on these criteria, there are three types of advertising uh, options that Amazon has provided to the customers. In this case, the sellers, uh, sellers like you, right? So you have something called as a sponsored product ad, sponsored brand ad, and sponsored display ads. These different kind of ads can be utilized to reach different types of audiences and different categories of audiences. So to, probably to give you a little more explanation on that, Awareness, when you're looking at targeting awareness, so we'll be, uh, during the awareness stage, we are looking at uh, improving the brand awareness of your product, improving the visibility and reach of your product to different audience types, to people who probably would be considering or they do not have an idea of your product. So you can use brand ads and display ads for this way. You can specifically target set types of audiences and we'll probably go a little in depth about what you can do with these different types of ads. But the idea is you create brand ads and display ads to reach out to the awareness section of the audience who are, who are purchasing on Amazon. Then you move on to creating some brand video ads to target the interested and consider consideration stage of consumers. And the sponsored product advertisements are specifically more used to um, reach specific tar target audience types where it's you target specific keywords, specific product targeting where the, the intent of a buyer over there is to buy the product. And Typically, sponsored product ads has have a, has, has a higher intent of reaching out to customers who have a purchasing intent. Now, now we've spoken about sponsored product ad brand ads and the different types of advertising. What are these specifically? Uh, where? How do these specific types of ads help a seller like us, right? So, when you're when you're launching a sponsored product ads, the idea is to reach out and boost your sales, and most of any advertising is going to help you boost your sales. So when you're talking about sponsored product advertising, it, it, it comes up on the top of the search page. It has got a lot of uh, positions, a lot of real estate is dedicated towards the sponsored product ads right on Amazon. So it helps you boost your sales, promote it. You can use it to uh, gain visibility for new products. And it is also ideal to clear out your inventory because your product is right there on the search pages where people would engage with your product and they, in, they intend, the intention is to buy your product through these product ads because when you click on a product ad, they directly, uh, they directly come onto your display page itself. <laughs> then you have your sponsored brand ads. Now this is a beautiful ad because it is, it is otherwise called as the headline or the banner ad. Why is it called the headline banner ad? Because when a customer searches for a product on Amazon, it's right there as a banner on the search page. So this helps drive a lot of awareness to your brand itself. You have a lot of creative customization options that would allow you to ensure the customer interacts either with your product itself or probably to also divert them to your storefront on Amazon where they can they get to interact and engage with the entire catalog of products that you have. So it is a great way to divert attention from other products that are there on the search pages to just the entire catalog that you have to offer. So this not only helps increase and boost your sales of the particular product that the customer is looking for, but it also helps in increasing the awareness category of purchasers who now get to interact with the other products that you have to offer on your storefront. Then you have the sponsored display ads. So display ads is a fantastic feature where you get to you get to target specific audiences. So there are multiple types of audience sets that you can reach out. You just you can use it as a remarketing tool where you can reach out to customers who already interacted with your product in the past, or you can also reach out to people who have purchased your product in the past. Apart from that, you Amazon is there has this amazing audience audiences already categorized within within their system. So you can specifically target um, you know, unique audience types that are related to your product. Let's say, for example, you have 
um, a Christmas uh, a Christmas gift. So you have an audience type that has an intent of Christmas buying option. So you can click on that particular audience here, and Amazon decides to showcase your ad to those customers. And this is beautiful to increase the awareness uh, on awareness to consumers. And the best part about display advertising is you get the option of allowing Amazon to showcase your product on and off Amazon, which is which is which is which goes a long way to improve the awareness of your product again and that is the first key thing right display ads improves the awareness of your product it reaches out to customers who probably are not even aware that they need that product and that is the whole idea of marketing to ensure people know your product is available on amazon and then of course take them through the funnel to end to end up buying the product now once we know what these advertising different types of advertising is we need to really understand and uh, this is something that i'd like to talk about why it is important to continue optimizing campaigns many a times clients assume that it is just a one-time activity you know you create an automatic campaign for example uh yeah, and you create these campaigns with a beautiful structure you have the keywords targeted the products targeted and and it's just left like that now that is not the best way to optimize campaigns because there is a concept called the flywheel effect. This is related to the Amazon's ecosystem where when uh, so the whole idea for advertising is to ensure your product is right at the top of the search. And not only that, it also is to increase and improve your organic position on the search pages, which is absolutely important because there is a point in time where you need to have your organic sales driving a majority of your total revenue that is in that's coming from Amazon. So when you when someone purchases a product on amazon it improves your um, score on within the amazon ecosystem and your bsr or the best seller rank is affected by this so it gets improving as and when you get continuous sales and the momentum is continuous you have your ratings and reviews that keep coming in at a consistent pace your bsr gets improved as you know all these metrics are in place now when that happens you continuously keep getting a lot of data from here so when you create a campaign uh, your sales are increased and then your reviews and ranking improves and then you get more organic ranking and at some point in time you have all this data which can further be used to optimize your campaigns which will again further drive more audiences towards your product now that we spoke about the flywheel effect and the types of campaigns that can be created on amazon i'll be talking about what is the one of the key metric that need, that needs to be tracked or observed or uh, the key metric that kind of tells you the performance of your campaigns on uh, Amazon. So ACOS, otherwise called as the advertising cost of sales, is one of the key metrics that helps you identify the performance of your campaigns, of your ad campaigns. It's a simple ratio of your ad spend and the revenue it generated. And that is all it is. So the lower the ACOS, the better. But however, it is important to understand and set your uh, set the ideal ACOS. So not all sellers or not all clients would have uh, a lower ACoS as the target because that may not be the target for your account depending on the scale of your business depending on what your objective is to run those uh, run the campaigns your ACoS targets could be a little different so let's say you are already selling on Amazon and you've got a continuous sales and you've already the campaigns have been running for a while and you would like to you would now look at increasing the profitability of those campaigns so that is when you would look at optimizing the campaigns to reduce the ACoS and let's say now you launch a new product and obviously you need to again create these campaigns to improve the awareness you might have to spend a little more on reaching newer audiences and have these marketing campaigns created and which which would end up spending a little more than you would be comfortable so when you're looking at increasing the visibility and volume a higher ACoS would be an ideal target to be set for these campaigns now, now that we know what are the brand, what are the kind of advertisements that you've created and the ACoS, the next thing is the most important thing about today's presentation, how to bring down that ACoS and how to reach your ideal ACoS. I think the most fundamental thing that will really go a long way in controlling your ACoS and making sure you're, that you reach your ideal ACoS targets is to have a beautiful campaign in terms of the structure. And structuring your campaigns is absolutely important because it gives you control on different metrics at different levels and different stages of your account's growth. So the key things to keep in mind when you're structuring the campaign is to understand and group your products in the right campaigns and the right ad groups. So you know that there are specific keywords targeting specific products, 
in those specific ad groups and campaigns. This will go a long way in helping you scale your business and have a definite control on what is happening on the accounts and where is it that you are spending your money. This will help you analyze, slice and dice the data at a later stage when you create the structure from the day one. Once you have the structure of the campaigns ready, the next important thing to reduce the ACoS is to have is to optimize your campaigns. Bid optimization is quite time consuming and it takes a lot of efforts in optimizing the bids at every keyword level in the different ad groups and campaigns you've got out there. And entering the Q4 season, it becomes critical to save as much time as possible to then focus on other aspects like inventory planning. And by the way, we have a session tomorrow on the inventory planning where you can learn about how to plan for the, for the Q4 season. Now, that being said, we at SellRep have developed an automation tool that will give the control to the sellers in optimizing the campaigns. While optimizing, when we talk about PPC automation, typically there are two things that come into mind. One is to optimize, keep changing the bids, which is otherwise called as the bid automation, and also to add new keywords into existing campaigns and ad groups. So these are the two primary things that you've taken into mind and developed the features where we've created templates that will help you set up the right rule for the set goals that you have in your, in your account. So if you're looking at improving the visibility of the product, there are certain templates that will help you increase the bets to reach those targets. If you're looking at reducing the echoes, again, there are set templates that will help you reduce the bets and therefore reduce the echoes. Now that being said, why is it so important? Because it helps save a lot of time. Like I mentioned earlier, it is quite time consuming to work on campaigns and it is quite intensive when you have to, when you have a lot of campaigns, especially for medium to larger sized, camp, uh, larger sized accounts. So this amount of time that you save by creating and setting up these rules at your, uh, where you have the control in defining the goals for each campaign gives you a lot of time on hand to then spend and focus on the other aspects of your business. It could be, like I mentioned earlier, inventory planning for the Q4 season or also in the future to develop new products that you can continue and expanding your business on Amazon. So that kind of brings us to the end of this session. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, please reach out to us by writing an email to support at sellerapp.com and, and we, will, we will be there to answer those questions and support you with growing your business.